Hello everybody, my name is Eli Hollingsworth and as always welcome back to Against the Current A The Chosen YouTube channel where today I'm going to be recapping for all of you the entire season of The Chosen Season 3 thus far just to kind of catch you up on any story details that you may have forgotten about or just to kind of refresh your mind about what has always happened this season. Uh, just a brief summary, all of hitting all of the important details, not going into all of the intricate subplots and there's, there's a lot happening this season but I'm just going to touch on the main points and just the main things that happen in each episode. But before we begin, let's roll that intro. All right, so in episode one, we have the Sermon on the Mount, or at least certain parts of the Sermon on the Mount, and then uh, Judas joins the group. Uh, we have that scene where Jesus, Jesus meets Judas, and he invites him to follow him and join the group. Uh, then Yus Yusuf talks to Jairus, who is the scroll keeper at the synagogue. Uh, Thomas and Ramah have the beginning of their, or the continuation of their little love romantic interest. Uh, Rayma, Mary, and Tamar move into a new house, and they have no money, and Judas talks to his sister about his family line, and Matthew goes and apologizes to his dad, as well as Andrew goes and apologizes to his dad, and goes to meet John the Baptist in prison. And we meet a new character named Joanna, that's important too. Uh, episode 2, Matthew's parents forgive him and they have a little heart-to-heart -heart talk. Uh, Quintus is upset about these pilgrims that are gathering out of sight of Capernaum, and they're just kind of camping out there. Uh, among these pilgrims is a zealot who is very important in episode 6. Nathaniel and Simon Z are living in Simon's house, and he kind of trains them in a comedic scene. Atticus talks with Simon the zealot and warns him about these zealots that, I, as for mentioned, are camping out with the pilgrims. And Jesus sends the disciples out, two by two. Then episode 3, Jesus comes home to Nazareth, and he goes to Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year and uh, then is invited to preach in the synagogue that night, in which he announces himself as the, or claims to be the Messiah, and then is taken out of the synagogue and taken to a cliff where he is threatened to be thrown off, but uh, he escapes and heads to Joseph's tomb where he has a flashback where we learn about a bridle that he has for a mule, which is definitely going to be more important as we get into later seasons. Episode four, we have one of the coolest intros of the entire show where the entire thing is black and white and it's a montage of the disciples healing people two by two. Uh, the disciples come home and then this is the beginning of Simon and Eden's drama where Simon comes home and kind of doesn't ask Eden how she is doing and obviously there is something going on with Eden that is revealed in later episodes. Jairus' daughter then becomes sick and Eden meets Veronica who is a new character who has a big part in the next episode. The cistern that is in Capernaum breaks and everybody does not have a good source of clean water and Simon and Gaius have a talk at the end of the episode uh, about maybe trying to fix the cistern and then in episode 5 Jesus heals Veronica and Jairus' daughter in the same episode. It's a one-two punch, but not before we have scenes with Simon and Gaius fixing the cistern and learning about Eden having a miscarriage, which is why she has been a little bit distant and mad at Simon and trying to deal with this tragic event that happened. Episode 6, Pilate's wife dreams of the future and has a dream about Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, which is going to be very important into, obviously, season 6. Jesus answers questions that John the Baptist has where he sends his disciples to go ask Jesus if he really is the Messiah, uh, which then causes Simon Z's zealots to kind of get off his back as they believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus then heals Barnaby and Shula at the end of the episode, and a new character named Leander comes and warns Philip and Andrew of some trouble that their preaching from episode 4 has stirred up in the Decapolis, and they must go and deal with that. And at the very end of the episode, Eden tells Simon about her miscarriage and kind of what's been going on and why she's been distant lately. And that's where the episode ends. And we will go into the episode 7 and 8 of season 3 and see where that all leads and comes to a head as Jesus feeds the 5,000. And if you want to see my next video, that will be coming out tomorrow, which will be my predictions for the season finale. Be sure to check that out right up there. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video where I'll be talking about my top five predictions. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell for all of my chosen content that I'm going to be coming out with over the next few days and weeks and months and, and years until season seven comes out. I'll be coming out with so much chosen content, and you don't want to miss it, I promise you. And link is down below in the description to listen to my podcast episode where you can hear my review of all of these episodes that I just mentioned. And uh, bye bye I was wondering if I'm